Hello everybody and welcome to another Smile Ideas. My name is Drakey Bacon and today I will be talking to you guys about Izanami, the next Japanese goddess in Smite. Now Izanami is the Japanese goddess of death but also of creation. So far she seems to be more of a Meiji type from the data mining but I'm not really sure myself. Now Izanami is a very big goddess inside Japanese mythology since she is the former wife to the god Izanagi. But Izanagi is the daddy of Susanoo and Amaterasu, and so I think it's just kind of making a big web like mythology does. Just kind of they'll they'll branch out some more to some more smaller, less significant gods, but they're getting the main ones in there, which is awesome. So first of all, her first ability um, seems to be this thing called Biting Strike. Now overall the theme with this data mining and her kit so far seems to be more relating to the death part of what she's got herself instead of the creation part now that is what brings me more intrigued because i do not think it's going to be kind of like a posh in the sense that it's going to be like he's scary he's torturing he's just really creepy no she's going to be powerful she's going to be basically what i feel hades should have been and I, that makes me excited because we don't have to ask for a Hades remodel now. Yay! But just just have a look at this. So first of all, she has this thing called Biting Strike. Now that's incredibly vicious um, for a goddess. So I theorize that it's probably not from her herself. Now it could be. I'm not saying anyway because I'm not a pro in Japanese law. And she may have like, boom, there you go. That's what she has. But I theorize that it could be a pet or a demon. Something from the depths of the underworld. Uh, of Japanese underworld at least and just coming to bite you and doing some DMG um, she also seems to have an invisible escape or stealth and a leap within that so that seems a bit odd so what I think it could be like you could merge into a wolf so you'd be stealth and you could like walk around the wall so it's kind of like maybe um, the paintings in A Link Between Worlds or I'm not really sure but I think it'd be kind of like a, because high res so far is, not, is doing very original stuff with gods. They always do because they've got great ideas. Now this leads to them being OP and whatnot, but that's fine by me. If they got the idea there and she's like just going to be able to like maybe Yanis portal, but also just go invisible. I don't know. Um, now that sounds incredibly good, but I think it'd be kind of like if she can merge into the shadows kind of thing of the underworld and just go boom, I'm gone kind of thing now stealth is incredibly annoying so we'll see but we haven't had stealth in a while so it's nice last time they said there was going to be stealth was just that she turned out to be Medusa statues instead so <laughs> we'll see anyway her third ability seems to be probably the one that I'm most excited for which is summoning summon demons now this I kind of hope is just another group of idiots like stupid minions you don't you don't you just throw them out there, and, like they just take the hits for you, kind of like uh, Noir minions, but old ones where they didn't really have anything like else. You wouldn't explode them; you just kind of leave them there. And they help you out. Um, I think that'd be kind of awesome, just like that. Be able to create an army of minions, kind of thing, and they just kind of walk around, like ah, I'm gonna hit you, be really annoying. But this thing would be kind of funny, and I always find that very interesting. Overall, I hope that's kind of like what it is and her ultimate seems probably the most intriguing and most um, unique ability so far since it says drag to Yomi. Now Yomi is the Japanese underworld so that's what it's called Yomi and when it says drag to now this could be multiple things you could just drag them down and be like a nausea ult downwards I don't think that would happen or you could be like an Alquang ult and you just come close to them and you kind of just do a lot of damage but it's kind of cool animation or I personally kind of hope it would be kind of like a mole in the sense that she drags them down but she moves them around and throws them back up through the ground and she pops up with them so she's able to go in get them by themselves and then swarm her demons on her so it's kind of like old Arachne playstyle kind of you go in there you try and single out a target and then you just burst them you ambush them do whatever you want, you want to be one of them, kind of thing. And now, this may not kind of intrigue to a Meiji playstyle, but I think it'd be kind of interesting if you could go in there and grab um, an enemy and just bring them out. Or, <coughs> excuse me, if you could 
even just dra grab an ally, I think that'd be awesome. Because like, you're coming with me, man. Let's escape together. So then you're like, you could be more intrigued to get like an Artemis or something else. So it'd be a good team synergy combo there. So if you got like an MC who can't escape, oh, ultimate. <laughs> got you right there man i mean it sounds more like a supporty ability and i kind of hope they would eventually put out on the support but now drag to yummy seems like a very intense and incredibly awesome ultimate i'm getting very excited for this personally so what do you guys think about izanami uh, do you think she's going to be kind of boring or are you excited for another death god I personally am because I think it should be what Hades would be and now they don't have to remodel Hades so it seems more likely. I was actually going to make a video on why they should remodel Hades um, and also the likelihood of it but then guess what they released a Hades skin because <laughs> I was like oh well they haven't released a Hades skin so maybe they're doing something. Nope they released a Hades skin. So anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these videos, check out my other stuff. If you don't like them, please tell me why you didn't like them. And I will... And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on The Jerky Bacon Show. Goodbye.